Week 5. How does a baby grow from a single cell? Once a sperm cell has joined with an ovum cell, it can then make more and more copies of itself. One cell becomes 2, 2 become 4, 4 become 8, 8 becomes 16, 16 become 32 and so it goes on. While the ball of cells grows, it moves along the fallopian tube towards the uterus. Once it is in the uterus, it attaches to the uterus wall. The image below is of an ultrasound scan taken 12 weeks after fertilization. In the uterus, the developing embryo can get plenty of nutrients and oxygen from the mother's blood. The placenta is where the baby's blood and the mother's blood are in close contact to allow this to happen. The baby is attached to the placenta by the umbilical cord. As well as collecting nutrients and oxygen, it is possible that harmful things could get into the baby's blood. This is why a woman who is pregnant should not drink alcohol and she needs to be careful about any medicines that she might take. There are also some viruses like rubella or German measles that could be harmful to a developing baby. For this reason, it is important that all women are vaccinated against rubella. It takes about 40 weeks for a baby to grow from a single cell to the point at which it is born.